and doubly so when you get a perfect D in your face. Yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the third round match of Blitzpit in the loser's bracket. Instantly greeted by Skuro's perfect D. <laughs> I love to wave my perfect D around, Jim. Yes. Uh, it is as thick as Tony's neck. <laughs> Right, I'm Joseph Van with me is Gorilla Mezzo, we've got uh, Elliot with his Dwarf Team Guard is good, and Mike the Machine again with his Skaven with Claw, two, a Claw guy, a Claw Mighty guy, and a Pom guy, up against lots of Dwarves with Guard, and the thing is it is going to be, you know, uh, Random Boy had Strength 4 Guarders, um, Elliot only has string three guarders, so it's going to be a bit trickier for him to deny hits than it was for Random Boy. But it's going to be interesting, and I'm going to go and lie down for a little bit. Well, I've got my mouth full of cheese right now, so give me a second to go. Oh my god, Skuro there looks like he's uh, satisfying somebody backstage. I should... <laughs> I should not have uh, handed over to him, but I do apologise. <laughs> well, my 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 fiance brought back a bunch of really fancy French cheese from the French uh, bakery, and uh, I'm eating a lot of French cheese. I'm filling my mouth with the French gym. Oh God, the bread mask. <laughs> yeah, blue, beautiful piece of bread too. Yeah. <laughs> safe doesn't make sense doesn't it and it is risky because they got claws so yeah it's fair enough right. all right here we go rats <laughs> trying to recover from the perfect d getting some hits in yeah i wouldn't have minded going all men's but especially he's got, he's got no guards at all has he so it would have exposed a better player to get picked up well not really because he's still yeah, he, he could have he could have claw mighty a better player this way he only clawed a good player um and it means that he can't get, you know, turned around as as easily, I guess. But right, anyway, I'm yeah, I'm gonna have to have a lie down. Sorry, juice. No problem at all. All right, the rats have uh, started their offense up. They're not gonna leave anyone in contact. But he's gonna take a hit here on the one D skull. No effect. Ball perfectly safe in the hands of a blotch rat. Uh, Eliod is almost assuredly just gonna keep his dwarves between the rats and the end zone here try and leverage all that guard and minimize these hits and then give himself a shot at some return uh, return hits. But uh, this is going to be a bit of a chess match uh, with no expectation that the Rats won't be able to score on turn eight. I think that's exactly what we're gearing up for. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes now. In, uh, in Mike the Machine's first game, which we did cast earlier, you will be able to find that over on YouTube. Search for Jimmy Fantastic or just head to jimmyfantastic.com to find all these VODs in the coming days. Ooh, there's a double skull on the dwarves. Uh, gets the reroll out. Oh, no, and it's a 1 in 81. Luckily, block on both sides. Blart does not get the free claw hit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we saw Mike the Machine's rats uh, really struggle to get any sort of cas with all that claw and mighty blow. And then we saw them have to roll some serious dice on a uh, on a very lucky turn seven and eight to uh, score on their drive and 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 have that one nothing advantage um, to ultimately end up winning the game off of. So we'll see if they can get a better drive going here on the dwarves. Looks like they're going to commit to the right side here. Playing the indoor outdoor game with my dogs right now. They can't decide what they want. Yeah. And uh, interesting uh, going to the sideline cage this early. Really not under any pressure to do so. Could find himself wedged against that sideline for the rest of this half because the dwarves have so much guard to work with. But 
Um, they still got to push their way over there. And very curious to see what Mike's thinking. Can he get enough hits here to make worth make it worth all these bases, or is he gonna have to start committing to some three plus dodging? And that is all the two dies on offer. So now what is Mike gonna do? Is he gonna make these uh these three pluses? Fails the very first one, probably not re-rolling it. Although if he doesn't, he's getting his team hit. He does re-roll it, and he does make it out. So that's a, a bad start to uh, getting the rest of his team safe here. He could. Nope. And makes his next one. Uh, only really one to go. He can probably just leave that tackler on the ground and not risk the three plus. Oh, he's coming in for the foul. Um, only has the one bench to foul with, but he still brought the dirty player to this fight. Doesn't get sent off, does get the stun. That's going to give him a little bit of help here, but all these dwarves are, while slow, going to be able to continue pressuring them onto the sideline here. I, I really don't like foul. I don't like fouling in this type of format personally. Uh, I don't like fouling in any type of format, personally. <laughs> it doesn't work out for me so well. But just the one rat, you know, up against the guard spam team, it's a, it's a, you start losing players to, you know, to, to dumb foul rolls. And I'm not saying that wasn't dumb. I'm just, it was just any bad luck, and you lose a player on a stun on a gym foul, and you're, uh, you're going to be really feeling the effects of that for the rest of the match. Gets the hit, gets the pow on the claw, mighty blow. Nothing for his trouble. And uh, he can't really bring much more guard in front, but he does wedge it right in there. And here we go. Uh, I believe fouling's about the same in 2020. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um Imperator Augustus. I know we very briefly addressed fouling in uh, one of the uh, overview guides that Jim posted. Uh, I don't know if we've seen the full breakdown for fouls yet or not. I honestly forget. There's been so much information flying in and out. But you can check that one. There's one big main video. Oh, Jim's here. Probably knows the answer. Hello, yeah. Fouling is unchanged. However, one of the prayers to Nuffle, um, it gives... gives uh... Gives SPPs for fouling for a half, but... No, oh, Jesus. I yeah. have yet to see... I have yet to see the prayers from Nuffle Chart. We haven't covered that one yet. We haven't. Um, no. That's... That is... That is something, though. I... Uh, I've played in leagues where they're like, we want to do... We want to do SPP for fouling, and we want to do SPP for surfing, and it never ends up well. Hmm. Support, there's supposedly a Chinese video with all of the pictures on. On oh. YouTube. I've just found out. So all this stuff is confirmed. Crazy, eh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I uh, again, the way the marketing department seems to be working in GW, I'm going to wager we're going to have this book in our hands in the next month anyway, so. Yeah. That's kind of, I mean, you know, it's hard to say with Blood Bowl, it doesn't get the same love as their main games, but that's basically what happened with 9th edition, isn't it? They just mm. said, oh, here's 9th edition, by the way. Yarp. Oh, brilliant. When I searched for Blood Bowl 3, a video by Jimmy Fantastic came up. That's nice, oh, isn't it? Oh, did you outperform, did you outperform Andy's video? Yeah. On your Google Analytics? Hey, look at that. Not bad. Wonder what the difference maker was there, Jim. <clears throat> <laughs> the best thing is there's one by me, one by Crendo, one by Sage. Then when you go right, there's two more by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Committing 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 is always a good thing. Extra content in short form. That's what the uh, the ADD future of YouTube uh, viewers wants. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like that's the thing. Most of them are just fucking 
kids fucking screaming all the time, aren't they? It's fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, if we'd had our druthers, I, I would have suggested we literally do section by section as different videos, and then you could just release them in a steady stream of, like, two a day for the next few days, and that would perform way better on YouTube than anyone else's content. But, yeah, again, yeah. that's, you know, how much do you really... <laughs> <laughs> right Wolf from Ajax are you trying to post the uh, the link there right here we go you can you can post it now Wolf from Ajax <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about Muppet <laughs> uh, so it looks like Mike's going to have to score early here Jim oh really does it, does it know that it's me that's searching oh shit I've got to make a new Right, okay, what's it called? Private window, isn't it? Let's do a private window. No, oh, no, I'm still I'm still up there. I'm still up there. Some rando fucking twenty eight second videos number one though, which unsurprising <laughs> really. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If you can get information in 28 seconds versus 28 minutes, <laughs> what are you going to do? In the, uh, in the camera world, there's this weird trend that people, they get millions of views when people are looking for, like, camera, camera release spoilers and stuff. Uh, there are, there's dozens of YouTube channels that are literally like an EAB voice just reading the spec sheet that yeah. is available to anyone. And they just they just upload them for every single release that comes out, and people just watch those because they don't want to listen to some YouTuber who they don't know if they're good with cameras or not giving their opinion. Yeah. And but it's insane to me that you would want to sit there and listen to a spec sheet when you could just go onto an online store and look at this, yeah. the tech specs tab. Yeah. Crazy. But it's all, I mean, it's all just, it's all just for search engine optimization. You know, if I want to know what megapixel count is on this camera and I Google search that, it's a lot easier when you just have a scripted robotic voice saying specs for yeah. Google to be like, oh, you need to, you need to watch that. <laughs> mm. So the question here is, if he gets this dwarf down, which he doesn't do, does he... Oh, oh this is uh, this isn't great. This is not great for Mike. No, he's only got one reroll, so I guess he felt he couldn't reroll it. Yeah, I mean, he's got a two die on him, but he's just going to be sitting there on the sideline with all those free dwarves to just completely pin him in. And he has to power as well, doesn't he? So he's got to dodge. And he rolls the oh, one. Oh, he tries to dodge. He rolls the one. Oh, what a way to waste your last reroll on turn four. Oh, this is not good by any standards. Yeah, he's got to go all the way back. This yeah. isn't going to be safe either. Yeah, there's no way he could have blocked him because he would have had to power him. And, yeah. and even if he had it, it would have been bad. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But this is not ideal. Well, I guess he's, I mean, he is screened, actually. Oh, boy. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as it initially felt. But he's just going to get, I mean, he's going to get four of his players guard locked on the sideline. There's no guard up there on any of those. It's two killers and a, and a, and a rack, or a uh, wrestle dodge. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Necro, that worked out for him in the first game we watched, certainly. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that took some dice. I don't, I don't tend to put a lot of stock in getting a... Uh, Getting, I won't go so far as to say miracle dice, but getting reliably good dice to save a drive uh, in two separate games, especially in an elimination format. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> that being said, the dwarves do not have the best position for maximizing all of their guard right now. I would have loved to just see them wedge right in on those four. But yeah, instead, he is getting some free hits on the, on the gutter here. Gets the three dice. Still can't get him down. <laughs> Five dice into that gutter. But he can uh, detach the, the Claw Mighty, which is pretty important to save a block. 
Not really a surf on for it, unfortunately. No, I'm surprised he didn't just surf the uh, Pommer at the end. Uh, yeah. But I guess he wants to get all these guys locked in. Yeah. Now locked he's got and this. loaded. Now he's, yeah, now he's got these... Uh, he's got a lot of guard holding those guys in place. Just yeah. the three plus to fix it, though, if he wants to dodge the Palmer and try and do a chain to surf his own player. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't going to work out as well as I thought it would. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can just dodge out, hit the Blitzer, and then chain the guy on the ground out. Oh, no. <laughs> We've seen that in matches before. <laughs> and he would have a fully logged and loaded pre-show wank if that was the case. <laughs> I mean, he could technically do it the other. Oh, no that... rerolls. <laughs> well, now this uh, this offense is all falling apart now for the rats. Yeah, he could still squirt out of it like a uh, like a like a shit on a night after a big uh, big uh, big drinking session, Jim. But uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, I Off don't like doing this. One. Um, to be honest, I didn't like. I didn't like opening the turn with that. I would have liked to have opened with these and see what's going on with the ball before making yeah. that, to be honest. I assume, you're point I assume you're pointing lower there at the tackler. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd, like, to have, uh, I'd like to have hit Glart and then hit this guy and then see what was going on with the ball. And, uh, uh, you know, like, okay, you get to hit him and maybe surf him and stuff, but... Like, he chose the push there, right? He chose the push there. Oh, the double skills. These yeah. dice are just unreliable for both coaches right now. But at least yeah. the at least Elliot's rolling two Ds uh, yeah. and getting fucked by him. Yeah, but see, this, this is the problem, right? Because because he's took he's taken that power, right? But he's already taken it now. Whereas if he had done that block first to set this up, now, you know, now he could have taken the power on that hit. Sure, sure, yeah. Um. Okay, he's still going to do the surf. Yeah. Gets he... the KO out of it. Now, here's the only thing, though, with the rats. You know, you've got your blodge runner with the ball. Uh, at any given time, doesn't really matter how many rats are on the field. At any given time, he can nine squares over to the other side of the the pitch and yeah. uh, still squeak away with a turn seven or eight uh, score. Yeah. So yeah, you do kind of have to commit to the ball when you got a shot, and he did have a he did have a chance there. Yeah, he does get the three um, D now, so this is nice. Yep. Good play by Elliot to get the three D, and ho oh, ho, he <laughs> devastates him with a gym pal. Gets him with a push, and now here you go. There's just basically nothing to stop this Skaven player or this this uh, this uh, gutter runner from just running across the field and only having to really contend with two two dwarves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you drinking, Skiro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Take off a roll of toilet paper to clean. <laughs> yeah, one will stop him. Yeah, that's it. But like, no gameplay will stop him, will it? That's the yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. thing. That's the kind of annoying thing about fucking rats. Yeah. That exactly. No matter what happens here, no matter how bad, you know. Mike the Machine's dice have been, or how bad he's played, or how well, you know, I'm not saying he has, or how right, well no, Elliot's played, the the point, it doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, he's got a fucking movement nine guy, and he can just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime he wants, pretty much. It is, it, they're weird, Skaven, they are super good. And there's basically no tackle to contend with in that in that left side. I mean, there's two there's two guys there, but if you just mark them up, they're probably not going anywhere. Yeah. So yeah, he might he might get two D'd by those runners, but uh, I don't know. I don't I don't think I, I I feel too concerned about that in the grand scheme of things. Now he does have to make a dodge away from tackle here. Makes it easily. Yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna have to come in here, isn't he? Because he wanted yeah. to make that block with a block. I think the better play and probably worth because it's only one in nine, right? I think he probably should have blissed with the lineman. Cause then he could have got these guys further across, you know, and screened up further downfield. Um, I feel like that would have been worth it, but again, fair enough. Mike the machine yep. didn't feel it was worth it, so who am I to argue? <laughs> Does get the dodge away with his uh, with his uh, uh, his Palmer, 
Uh, so he will have a, a you know, a, a threat deep, so to speak, um, as he tries to reverse. Now, what I do like about uh, Mike's position here is that he's doing a reverse and he's got the doors right where he wants them, but they can't overcommit because he can just as easily go back the other way yes. where there are two players on the ground that can be relevant, assuming the DP doesn't get served. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he has kept his options open. That's very yeah. true. And if and 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 doubly so though, if Elliot doesn't kind of kind of overcommit, then he's not really covering the left at all exactly. because he's not going to have any relevant tackle there. So like this move, the move nine, just really really coming into play here after uh, Mike kind of got himself into a, a needlessly dangerous position. Yeah, it's it's interesting, isn't it? And. Uh... I mean, he's obviously had pretty bad dice to have used all of his re-rolls instantly. Um, but, yeah, it's really tricky for for Eliad because dwarves are so fucking slow. And now he's essentially wasting his blitz to blitz somebody he could have blocked. That's interesting, isn't it? But he's not bothered about blocking and tagging. I wouldn't, with no re-rolls, I wouldn't have minded blitzing that line or tagging the uh, gutter. But I tend to agree, Jim. But he's playing it safer, getting back, getting boys back down to try and try and protect somehow. Oh, that is the dream, Necrodens. <laughs> that is the dream. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh well, that's the dream need, as well. Oh, that's huge. Huge because he doesn't. I mean, he's gonna get surfed, you know, either way. But uh, now that player completely free to help shore up that middle because that is a gaping hole, Jim. Yes. Right in the middle there. The gaping hole. And he could almost. He could almost with a. Yeah, it's a bit of dice. So say he could almost uh, cage up in that hole and then have no worries on on turn eight. But I think he's got to keep pushing to the left here. I think this is the right call. Yeah. I, I really do think the player was to blitz with a blockless guy, honestly. And he could have had a screen. And it would have been pretty good. Could have got the ball about here last turn. Uh, and had a full screen, but I just scored. And then I think that was the play. I think this might, he might get punished here. Might, might... might might happen absolutely but there's not going to be any any tackle involved in this play most most likely yeah without a without a four plus dodge that he's probably not going to take <laughs> yeah but elliot's got a reroll for it so at worst he's going to like pin him on the sideline yeah but he still has to hit a blodger so i feel like three nah can he get a 3d easier than he can get tackle on the ball i don't think so no no probably. yeah so you can get, you I don't know. Can get. I don't know. I don't know where the odds play out there. A uh, a four plus dodge. What is it? A four plus dodge and a GFI to make it a no, or, or two GFIs to to hit with tackle. Huh? No, he's not. That that seems terrible, especially as he can just hit without tackle and put him on the side. Yeah, exactly. You just hit without tackle and re-roll it. So he's got four dice here on the ball. Yeah. And he can he can like he can close in his blitzer behind as well to make it harder. Yep. yep. Harder. Ah, uh, he might actually. No, that guy's not fast. Now I was gonna say, can he free both of these blitzers? He can actually free both of these blitzers to make it uh, a three D, Jim. He can, but it's risky. Yeah, a bit. One, two, three, four, because it means so they're he not. Still needs a GFI. Them. Still needs a GFI. Yeah, this one's all right, isn't he? He can get there without one. Yeah. He needs yep. double GFI. This guy GFI. needs a GFI. I think I do. I think I do this though. He needs two the... GFIs, but I guess you've got to. Yeah. One at a time. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's only all got right. two dice. Oh, he on the still ball. did it. He still did it. And here comes the Ooh, 3D now. He stacked him. And he doesn't get him. Yeah, see, it's got risks of its own. That's the thing. Because first yeah. of all, you might only get three dice instead of four dice by doing it that way. And second of all, I guess this is pretty good actually. Okay, so you've got a pretty good. I was thinking you don't you don't stick him on the sideline, but I guess it's all right having the, all these guys yeah. around. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. 
Yeah, it's probably better than sticking on the sidelines, so fair play. Well done, Elliot. Yep. Does uh does Mike the Machine go for the four plus handoff score here? Might have oh, to. To the tackler? You can just dodge around. He's got dodge, right? So you can run around, hand off to the tackler, blitz and score. Is that better than a three plus with a couple dodges and a quick pass? Yeah, I think that yeah, that is gonna be better. Because this this dodge here is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. And if he does it that way, he could actually he could actually also be the assist so that the tackler can can blitz instead of dodge. Five plus three plus yeah, it's not good though, is it? He hasn't got a reroll, so five plus with a reroll is already like fifty five percent. And then you haven't scored. Whereas this way if you make the fifty percent you've essentially scored. Ooh, that's not the way I would have done that. No. No, I feel uh, yeah, that might have been that might have been better as well. Just doing the dodge, I don't know. Mm. Well, it wasn't working either way. You rolled the one there. Three plus. I oh, could have gone. Could he gone this way around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh God, they're so fast, aren't they? Well, yeah, maybe that was the best way than scroll, dude. Yeah. Yeah, three, four. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking, squirrel, dude. Yeah, that might Instead, have been the best way. he's just getting surfed for his troubles and not scoring. Well, this is a result that we didn't see in his first game, uh, which looked like the score was more unlikely. <laughs> uh, so a disastrous offense now for uh, Mike the Machine. But the one saving grace, he's going to have a full team on defense. Unless, uh, no, he's going to have a full team on defense. So. Yeah. I just think he pushed he pushed a little bit too soon and committed too much to the sideline when he's just out guarded. Yeah, yeah, that, that initial push. I think if he wanted to come back to the middle, he shouldn't have gone so far down, especially knowing that he was down at re-rolls. It was a very... But maybe he thought he had to because he was down, but... Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looks good. like Squirrel Dude's f f fucking keyboard <laughs> has a problem with its... Fucking F key. I thought he'd done it on purpose because Skaven are stupid fast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought it was totally on, on purpose. Because <laughs> they are fucking fast, aren't they? They're so fast. I didn't even consider that play. You can tell I haven't played as much Skaven as somebody like, uh, somebody like what's he called, Chunter, who would have thought of that instantly, wouldn't he? Whereas I just didn't even oh, consider Oh, yeah, the... Uh... Skaven are down a man, I counted wrong. Oh um, no, he didn't get his KO back. Yeah, that KO. Um, and Mike the Machine plays a lot of Skaven though, doesn't he? So he should have seen that as well, shouldn't he? Um, Chunny. <laughs> yeah, Chunny and Finter. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that play better to score with the gutter dodging out, coming in to be the assist for the 4 plus handoff, and then having the guy, you know, and then just having the ball carrier blitz his way into the end zone. I think the do just the do straight dodges and cheer fires are better, though. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the best oh, one. Oh, are they? Okay. I'm pretty sure. Are they? The, the, the one that Squirrel said, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's going to be the best. I'm pretty sure the, the 3 plus 5 plus was horrible, I think. I'm pretty sure that was better. I don't know, but I, mean, I, would, I would say... I would think my way was better than Shawnee's way. And... Uh, and scroll, but scroll dude was the best way. <laughs> That's what I'd, ex I'd guess, but I don't know. Well, I think we're gonna see eight turns of misery for the rats, and <laughs> yeah. uh, and then getting dumped out of the blitz pit competition here. Because the dwarves, all they gotta do is just move a couple squares a turn, get in there, put the ball in on turn eight, and then well, they gotta defend a one turn, but. But who knows? It is it is rats. If the ball gets jarred somehow, anything could happen. Right. Anything could happen. <sighs> Fucking head. Wow, only 68 people have seen this video. It was four days ago.
This hasn't got all the pictures at all. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This isn't. Uh, this is just. Were you were you once again let down by the activities of Chinese hackers, Jim? Yeah, people people on the internet. going to do here what's the point of attack are they just going to try and get uh, a couple a couple claw removals could bring them back into contention uh, to stop to slow down and stop the dwarves but uh yeah i think lark's gonna have to really put in a shift here because mm. it doesn't look like he's gonna commit to uh the uh the claw mighty hits oh no he is Where's he got? Oh, there's an assist up on the right. Didn't even see it. <laughs> I was like, he's not basing anyone up to uh, to make a 2D here. Hope to. Base, base, base. Yep. And instead, he just gets pushes anyway. So, claw, not a good skill if you roll pushes, Jim. Exactly, yeah. That's why guard's good, because you will roll pushes. <laughs> but you've still got guard. <laughs> It's right though, isn't it? Like you don't need to get anything for it to still be good because it's still guard. Like it's guard uh, every he, turn. It's brilliant. Kind of leaving that claw a little exposed there. A little, but maybe he thinks if he commits down the side. Uh, yeah, I think he'll go for the yes. piling on. He's got to move forward, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. That's the thing with dwarves. Like, they've got to be moving forward. They're so slow. They've got to take ground whenever they yeah. can get it. And and I like this from <laughs> Yard. Pushing he's down the him, flank. He's giving him a lot of ground over there on the on the right. Yeah, and Elliot will still trying to hold the center as well to give him a swing back if he overcommits down the side. The five. Now the real question though is: Is Elliot pushing too much this early? That's a long way. I mean, it's wide open, so why not take it? And, but all of those rats can get back and be and be relevant at at this stage. Whoa. What about was my way the worst then, Squirrel Dude? <laughs> was I just an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> And under no circumstances can the dwarves score before turn 16 in this one. No, and even that might not be good enough to win, thanks to... Yeah, no, absolutely. But, turns. I mean, that's the only directive that Elliot has right now is kill as many rats as he can, which is currently zero. <laughs> Oops, sorry, one. Um, and, uh, and don't score until turn 16. for pointing. Uh, yeah, well, four plus essentially. It would be, wouldn't it? It would essentially just be a four plus to score. More or less. Four plus then don't one in nine. Two plus with a dodge reroll. And then four plus and then a two D not double sculling. Or both downing, because then you've got a dodge. 
And it's pretty horrible, isn't it? Then, but then even then, that adds things. It doesn't kill it uh, off. Mike, Mike, having to do a lot of thinking in this one. Four seconds left in his turn. Have not seen the blitz pit timer come into play thus far in games we've streamed. But uh, until it's now, rush, yeah, it's gonna rush him a little bit here. Hasn't blitzed yet. Hmm. He is he not? Blitz? Oh no, I'm sorry. He blitzed. The, I'm sorry. He blitzed with the claw mighty on the backside there. Yeah. Well, he's uh, effectively funneling the dwarves uh, downfield on the right. It's going to get a little tight over there, I but think... uh, at this point, at this point where they are, they can just yeah, they can just hit and move up a couple squares and be pretty much fine. I think he's going to try and swing back. I think he's going to blitz the leader there and try to take the middle again. That's what I'd do. Doesn't want to get stuck on the stuck on the sideline, does he? Right, that's my point. No, no, I don't think Elliot agrees with you, though. Wow, I don't like this from Elliot. <laughs> the uh, such value in he as well, a leader. Yeah. He's a big value player, and uh, gets him back in the middle. I mean, I'd really like to be in the middle there. Yeah, I mean, he's not. He's not overdoing it, at least. At least he's still kind of three squares off the sideline there. Yeah. But he still is very much committed to that right wing. Yeah, you know, you don't know how much he's going to try and keep the middle as well, I guess. Yeah. But I, I don't like it. I guess, I guess you get forward and then you've always got the option to swing back later. Maybe this is better. Maybe this is better than what I would have done. It's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> <laughs> see, that's a genuine thing you should be able to say. But it's ruined forever. My people not having the bollocks to say something was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Worse? Oh, I'm surprised it wasn't that. I'm surprised it was that close. I'm surprised. I'm su honestly after after hearing your two ones, I was surprised at this one. I guess I guess the Sean the five plus dodge is only fifty five percent of work, whereas the handoff fifty percent. So they're both pretty shit. Yeah, they're all pretty shit when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, he. He really, uh, honestly, as, as, as nitty-gritty as you can get with those percentages on that play, it was the three turns before that that really caused the failure of that drive, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it was the, the key thing was in making the safer block with block, which, it okay, it was less likely to turn over, but it wasn't really safer because it almost guarantees you losing the game on a push. Whereas if he had done it with the... Uh, if he'd done it with the uh, non-block non player, the push would have been good, and then he could have had the screen up, and he would have probably scored. That's what I think. There is so much time left and not enough field to work with for Elliot right now. I, I mean, I know I know what you mean. Dwarves got to keep moving forward. But, yeah, I would like them maybe two squares back and a little more central. But although, I mean... Ah, it doesn't look like Mike is cutting off the middle of the field from him. Very no, exactly. Much. That's what I mean. He can, because he kept a strong enough presence in the middle. He could always swing back later, couldn't he? Which is kind yeah. of funny. He's gonna have a, a a little bit of screen if he makes this three plus dodge. That'll help a bit. But I mean, Elia does not need to advance from where he is. He, but he can certainly move right through uh, Corpable Nibbler, the lineman that's just sitting there waiting to die. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to see right now. Ball really only needs to move one or two squares over, to be fair. Don't like the blitz. I mean, I guess maybe that he really needs to make that blitz to make it safe. But Ball, ex Ball is exposed right now. Yeah, good point. He could have he could have moved everybody up safe, couldn't he first? Yeah. He's gonna he's going to completely centralize here. Yeah, finally. Are we going to see a foul on this rat, or does he not care because he can guard lock him? I think he just guard locks him, yeah. Yeah. Now, does he make it a three, a triple red? Yeah, looks <sighs> like a problem. Yeah, he might yeah, maybe do. Just, maybe just a two red here. No, he's going to put one more in, isn't he? Yeah, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. not. I, I, I mean, I honestly, I, I would consider taking a two, a double red. Yeah, he's got block. But like, 
All you, uh, the only other thing you're going to do is try and chip a player right now. <laughs> I mean, you can, though. He's got a claw, mate, and he's got a guy yeah, based. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah, okay, that's a better that's a better target, to be fair. Yeah. Could still do a 2 plus with a reroll. It's funny because I, I didn't like this centralizing move so much. It's funny, isn't mm. it? I would have, I would have considered punching, uh, punching this lineman here, and then just like you know filling out, basically where he is, you know where these guys are on the right hand side with with the with the uh, cage in behind. I, I didn't think he had to go quite as far to the centre. Funny, isn't it? Yep. Calcium, don't you basically live on a beach? Just take a take an iPad out, hop in the ocean, <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> Not as day of the year in the UK. <laughs> but the thing is, calcium, to you, it was the hottest fucking day of the year. But but to Gdanik, it was a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gdanik, Gdanik's hottest day of the year involves like acid spewing fucking alien spiders and <laughs> drop bears and God knows what else, Mad Max cars, burning oil. <laughs> Sandstorms. <laughs> and also his country is constantly on fire, so <laughs> Remember that? Remember remember five years ago when Australia was entirely on fire last January? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened there, we stopped caring about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was forgotten pretty quickly, wasn't it? <laughs> Needs the push here. Not a double skulls. Yeah, me book. too, Kals, me too. I, I assume 15 degrees is probably in my realm of being too hot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it translates to, but I'm assuming it's like 75. See, now he wastes a turn just going back to where he was. I, I, yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like he was too thin. He was... I, I really like this formation. I would have liked blitzing him and then just staying where he was. I thought I would have gone... <sighs> I personally, and again, I'm not saying Elliot's wrong... But I would have gone more central when he stayed out wide. Then when he went central, I would have stayed a bit more out wide. Funny, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't. I, a, I don't. I just don't think it really matters all that much at, at this stage. Uh, but like he does, it's, it's not a waste of a turn. He, he's trying to waste turns at this point, you know. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's just interesting game, to me because you know, obviously, sixteen soon enough for him. It's just interesting in terms of playing blood ball, you know, and it? it's a, it's yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. it's interesting that Elliot, who I think is very good, would do things that I wouldn't do, whereas you know, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, I think we would do the same. So it's kind of interesting right. that we would do something a bit different on this. Uh, but I mean, he has got one minute turns, so. You know, maybe maybe that's in playing into it. It is his third game of Blood Bowl in a row as well, isn't it? So I'm not again. I'm not saying that my my ideas are better than the ideas that he's pursued. Not at all, because it could well be the other way around. Good, good lord, Zim. Where are you right now? Oh, you're like in the southwest, aren't you? You're like Arizona or something like that, probably. <sighs> I'm not Im even implying it. No, no. Oh, I'm not a third for Elliot. Maybe he's feeling the effects of the pre-show wank. <laughs> oh, yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, his, maybe his ginger complexion just can't take the hottest day of the year and he's just melting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor bastard. I know, I know. I, my uh, my fiancé is a ginger and she's currently out in the sun. And she's going to come back and she's going to complain about being out in the sun. Yeah, maybe Elliot at this time is like he's like that guy who dropped got dropped in the acid in RoboCop. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I just, that was a pretty iconic image, and I just kind of get it out of my head now. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, I think we're basically just biding time until a cage dive on turn 16. Yeah. Or, sorry, turn 15. <laughs> yeah, no, Crimpins, hopefully not. 
So he's got to get his like his team's kind of been split a bit now, right? He's got to get these back together. He's got to get the band back yeah. together somehow and squash all of his little stumpy fucking guard fuckers around each other and somehow defend the ball. Alors, you see, we in the coin, we in the coin, yeah, victorious, blah blah. Right, I didn't understand the word she said there. Glorious, I will defend, I will defend, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. Le plim plam plu. Yeah, oi oi oi. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> fucking, fucking acid dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Thanks twice. Oh man. I should try and get in J5. Not only, not only have I, am I the exclamation point winner three of the SFL. But I've also taken Kadenik down in that league twice. So if he's good enough to play in this, certainly I've got to be. Twice? You you sounded pretty much from Boston there. <laughs> twice? That's not... A... <laughs> That's more Brooklyn, I think. Erlich nein, I say ash verde nicht nargeben, I say ash verde nicht nargeben, bici say ash sigeresh ben. Un DCH vert de Verteil d'Igen, ICH vert de Verteil d'Igen. Bloody hell. Thanks twice, Hop. God knows what that was about, but thanks. <laughs> That's wicked hat. Man, uh, Squirrel Dude, uh, for, you're like one of the more like even tempered people on uh, Discord and Blood Bowl, but uh, you, I could tell when it happened, the exclamation point Wiener 3 <laughs> really tickled your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> wiener 3. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking Wiener 3. <laughs> wiener 3 with the perfect D, baby. <laughs> Dear. This is getting a bit tricky now. He's got a strength 4 boy in contact with the ball. And yeah. uh, people based up, and it's all it's all gone a bit pear shaped for Elliot. Yeah, I just yeah, you know, uh, all this kind of all these problems being caused by that uh, um, initial the initial uh, decision to not cut back in like you were suggesting, and now he's just been kind of like out positioning his own team, and it's just like. You know, he's got three, four guard over on the left there, and they really can't help the ball at all. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be... It's gonna that failed dodge helps. Him. Ooh, and that removal really helps. Oh, of course, glorious in German. That totally makes sense. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I could have worked that out if I had a brain. Anyway, huge cast there if it goes to overtime. Yep. Which is really looking like machine's only hope is overtime, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's still one turn. Yeah, yeah, but it's tricky, and it? he's down, down players. Yeah. There's guard and stuff. What's he need? He's just gonna need two pushes on a gutter. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just yeah. What well, I'm saying that that's his only hope. But it's it's his only hope is overtime. He, yeah, he can't yeah, win okay, in normal yeah, time, yeah, can yes. he? Yeah. I, I, sorry, I was yeah, right. I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> uh, I see what you're saying. Absolutely. Yep. Whereas uh, Elliot might win in normal time. We didn't follow there. Is he yeah. just going to score here, Jim? I guess he's going to move back around to the side somehow. He's still got his blitz. So... He can't possibly score here and give him two turns. I mean, he can't score because he's got people in the way. I, I guess he could blitz. Well, he could blitz. He hasn't blitzed yet. Can blitz for a push and then and then try and stall. He can't try and stall in the corner, can he? No, I don't think so. He can't get anyone else over there to guard it. If he score, yeah, okay, he's not gonna do that. Yeah, he's gonna come back over to the left. Yeah. He could get bogged down here and have some gnarly dice to have to roll to win it. Yeah, he kind of needs a power from this fucking uh, runner. Yeah, doesn't who he? doesn't have block? I mean, that, not that that matters because he gets, no, he the, gets pow. the pow. <gasps> gets the pow. Oof. And does he just cage up? Yeah, he's just gonna yeah, just yeah, cage up here. He's got guard on all corners. 
Oh, I guess if he'd pushed, he would have just you would have just gone diagonally back one, which might have been better anyway, actually. So, uh, so his uh, his ball carrier does not have a square to give without a GFI. So we'll probably see screening here and not a cage dive. Yeah, maybe. Although there's not much to screen with. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, gun motions, that's what people who are like that are like generally, aren't they? Because that's, they don't know um, what should be happening. <laughs> guard on all corners except two of them. <laughs> well, I, I meant guard on the two corners that matter. Yeah, and it, it doesn't matter that there has to, there doesn't have to be guard on this one. Guard right, is on all corners. I said, I said guard on all corners, I meant. Guard on the two corners that matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That puts guard on all corners. Two guards yeah. put guards on all corners. That's just Johnny Five being oh. pedantic, but also <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that KO helps a little bit. Ball is base. No possible way out of this. GG Eliod. <laughs> uh, there, yeah, but there, there's going to be dice to roll almost... Assured. Well, no. can he stop this blitzer from clearing the ball? No, I don't think he can. I mean, Mike the Machine's got to roll some fucking dice, hasn't he? He's got to use all his rerolls to try and get a skip screen. Probably should have started with a gutter, seeing as it's a two plus. Yep. Uh, the gutter is on tackle, so it wouldn't have helped him in that case, but yes. Yeah, you've got to start with a two plus instead of a three, haven't you? And tackle paying off. Can't re-roll it, and that's uh, that's that. See, that would have been better because we've not had him KO'd, and then you've got the one yeah. turn, so he absolutely 100% should have started with a cut. <laughs> yep. All right. Mike's... Uh, Can he three-dice this? KO probably. rolls and a one turn uh, to have a prayer here, or dub skulls. Trip skulls. Or quads, I mean. Triad. Yeah. Hexa skulls. <laughs> Hex skulls. <laughs> it, it ain't happening, folks. <laughs> Oh, he did get oh, dub scores. Oh, that almost, that almost happened. Yeah, he did get the old dub scores. Also, right, if he'd moved the any... gutter, the gutter could have been one to the right, and then he was, yep. was, he would have had to chain himself one forward, which he actually wouldn't have done because he got the push. He would have made a GFI. That GFI could have been a double one. So there you go. Kind of a basic thing um, by Mike the Machine there. Ma making the uh, gutter dodge first would have been better. So interesting. I mean, it is one minute turns. I'm not banging on him. I'm not saying he's a terrible player because he didn't do that. But <laughs> you know, that's just the blitz bit, isn't it? Like, obviously, everyone in it is really good. Well, this is uh, this is tough. He's got what? <laughs> nine, nine, nine men needs two pushes and some beautiful dice on the side of it against the guard, a wall of guards. The S D U L I N U S. What the hell was that? Did you hear that, Skuro? I heard. I think it's gone wrong. I think because it's not. Oh, maybe it's because it was in caps. That wasn't like anything like a like a sentence. A lot of it was like <laughs> you know a silly French accent. That was just like. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Most, much more emblematic of the attitude towards uh, towards proper streaming here. <laughs> here we go. Classic Jimmy banging on the competitors from the sidelines for science. <laughs> Thank you, Twice Up. There you go. That, she said it properly that time. <laughs> well, she does not like caps. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, the sidelines just made a loser shit. Oh fuck, here we go. <laughs> Do it all funny in cap, Jimmy? Le plim plum plum baguette blood ball. Oh, did it perfectly then! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what a weird thing. <laughs> Alright, one one minute to set up a one turn here. Oh, good lord. Oh, here we go. You're welcome, everyone, for oh, this remarkable for it discovery. That he need. Oh. Well, he it'll might if it goes to he, overtime. Yeah if, yeah, if he can get to overtime, it'll help him out. <laughs> Thanks, <Tony> Oh, dear me. Uh, yeah. He's going to start right off with the ball. I think that's uh, the right call. Two tackle zones. 
And he goes straight into there. Four plus. Boom. Gets it. All right. He's got uh, jugs on the blitz and an assist. Yes. Yeah, somewhat trivial on the pushes here, but yeah. uh, we'll see if he can get through the rest of the defense. I kind of do not like this setup at all by uh, Elliot. He should have had the he should have had the guy one square off and didn't. I don't know why. Yeah, he didn't. That, that is interesting. Yeah, and uh, he can take the pow here, can't he? If he if he gets it. He, he can. I mean, maybe he wants that extra push to save him a dive. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he would take. You know, I'm sure he wouldn't take if he didn't have mm. to. But he could, like, he wouldn't have to re-roll it. Yep. I mean, fuck. He can almost push him. He can almost push him halfway through these dodges. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Is this a GFI though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, not a GFI oh. to get him around. Yeah. That's the pal. There's the pal. All right. He's got a reroll for this. He is going through tackle. Was it better to have chained the tackler away? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't matter, Jim. Didn't matter. <laughs> oh! It does matter. Well, maybe. Oh, he gets it. Dirty, dirty rats. Dumb, oh. dirt cheap. Oh. Dirty rats. Wow. Dumb, dirty I, I would like cheap. to. I would like to let the audience know that I am not. I am not ahead of Jim here. I called that one before the second time. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew. You know. You just sometimes you just know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, but the dwarves have won the overtime toss, folks. Oh, and they've won the KO rolls as well, because all of them failed for the scale. Oh, man. Oh, no, they didn't. That was completely no, wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was there was only two KO that was. Oh, they must have been for the last ones. Eh, I don't understand. There were like three KO rolls on the screen. That was so weird. 11. So dwarves have 11, rats have 10. Oh, it was the KO, wake up after KO. I, I saw the one, three, and one thought they were fucking KO rolls, but I was an idiot. Right. <sighs> right, it's the dwarves win. The toss. Yep. Not necessarily uh, the match. Dwarves have two rerolls, Mordip. Yep. And now that reroll that he won off the toss looks very relevant, it could be, doesn't it? Yeah, that might, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a real shame he failed that GFI. Had the waste of coming in with two rerolls would be a whole different thing. Only down one player. Uh, but this is definitely a game. Of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Eliad putting the the big uh, the big old wall of dwarves on the uh, LOS here. Yeah, trying to stop the blitz a bit if it happens. Yep. Oh, perfect D. Is that gonna help him out a ton? Not a ton, I guess. No, it's because he's got everything on the other. This is a pretty good anti anti blitz defense, isn't it, from Eliad? Uh, yeah, it sure is. Uh, that deep kick might not treat the dwarves too nicely, though. No. Especially if the ball goes backwards. Yeah, but he's got plenty of time. But yeah, that's 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 tricky to get his team together. Yeah, that might encourage. No, I was going to say that it does go backwards. That could have encouraged Mike to uh, try to split his team. Elliot's got to basically just not blit, not do anything here, hasn't he? Keep his team all like this so he can't get, you know, anywhere in the backfield. I do not like this. I do right, not I'm gonna, like I'm this. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back, Jim. Okay. I do not like this because um, I feel like he should have not done this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would have made it so that he could make a cage up here next turn. And now you're inviting pressure on. If he'd kept a high line and uh, not let the dwarf, not let the Skaven put, you know, break through, I think that was the play. I think this is very risky. I mean, it's obviously. It's good because you've got this screen in front, but it's also bad because I guess he's going to double screen it, right? He's going to blitz with this guy and run back to the middle and then have a double screen. Nope, he's just not even doing that. I'm not sure about this. 
I'm not sure about this at all. <laughs> Coffee monster. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like if you're going to bring these people back. I really don't like putting these guys forward, you know. I think if he had, if he had blitzed with this guy on the LOS and then made it so that, you know, he had a player here. Or like a player here and a player here and a player here. Oh, he wrote, does so now he's loving it because he's rolled a double one, and so he's loving the fact that he took some guys back. But um, <laughs> so now it now it looks like the right thing because he's double one to pick up, uh, and now it, now it's pretty good. But I still think the player was to have kept a guy here or here, and a guy here, and then blitz with him and just bring him back to uh, make it so they had like two banks of four, because this is still a bit you know. Um, Mike the Machine can blitz a guy and get get a lot of pressure on here. Let's, uh... Yeah, yes, we'll do. But it's inviting the pressure on. That's what I'm saying, right? If he if you'd kept the high line, then it's really hard for Mike to break through and put pressure on. You know, the, the way it was, two guys here, two guys here. It was really hard for him to break through. Whereas now, it's he's guaranteed to break through. And while, yes, you've got more stuff back here, you you, you, you know, you, you're inviting it to come on, aren't you, and get put into a bad bad spot. And it's, uh, it's not, I don't know. Like, it's safer to have them back, but also it's, it's guaranteeing that it's dangerous. If you see what I mean, do you see what I mean? It's like it's making the worst case scenario better, but it's guaranteeing a bad case scenario. If you see what I mean. Uh, so I just jumped back into this conversation. I am assuming it's based on the fact that we had four dwarves retreat back to help protect the ball. Yeah. But then where are they going from there? Ball can come up, and then they're going to be mired in rats. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. Like, and yeah. especially moving these guys forward. See, if if I if he dropped them back, if he blitz and dropped back, then this wouldn't have been anywhere near as bad because now he's got two guys over there looking like dickheads. So it's it's safer but more dangerous. Exactly, it guarantees it guarantees an element of danger, but you're more equipped to handle the danger. I'm trying I'm to see. Yeah, yeah, not getting the knockdown on the wrestler there. He def definitely doesn't want that uh, wrestler free to move, but he doesn't have a choice in this matter here. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I see. What, I, I, I mean, I think I'm agreeing with you uh, based off of the, you know, third of the conversation I've overheard. Right. Good. J5 just wanted to take the piss out of me. Just go back to saying, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, um... I don't know. I thought it made sense. Yeah, I mean, he can still cage up in the middle of the field, and it, and the rats kind of have to attack that cage from the outside, which helps him advance up the middle anyway. No, he's not doing that, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much any much movement he had after that. He probably was yeah. thinking of how far he could get forward and, and I, he couldn't get this guy. I was assuming he could... I mean, yeah, he could get right much. up behind... The guy in the dead center of the field there, which is what I was expecting. So he'd basically be whoa. Run out of time. Oh dear. Ah, I mean, I guess he's pretty safe, but doesn't feel safe. No, he could get uphill by wrestle, couldn't he? Sure could. And he could just have his position collapsed more as well with like a just yep. normal blitz and stuff. Can the wrestler get over there? Jesus, one, two, three. Yeah, of course he can. He's a fucking scare. <laughs> yeah, what was I think? It is a GFI. Yeah. <laughs> it's a do it's a dodge uh through tackle in a GFI yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's but yeah. <laughs> it's stupid that he could obviously get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was less obvious that he could he was there and he could have run back and still scored. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, these pals, though. Pals and stuns coming right now. Yeah, huge pals. This one doesn't break armor there with the uh, with the palmer. Oh, he, he does pile. I can't believe it. I, I was going to say. I would not 
have thought that was the right thing to do there, Jim. No, I was just going to say, it's a shame he hasn't been able to pile on ever with this guy. <laughs> he just yeah. instantly piles on. <laughs> I, uh, I would want everyone up right now, especially with that stunned dwarf there. Just really yeah. leverage your advantage. Wow, interesting. And yeah, that, I mean, that makes obviously... It a lot easier for Sorry, a bit, bit unlucky playing against dwarves and orcs where he's just never going to get the opportunity to pile on, but then he did anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, he's just... All of the teams he's been playing against that we've watched, it's like, you, why would you want to blitz with the Palmer when you could blitz with your Claw Mighty? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, give you Mighty Blow Tackle, fair enough. But it seems a weird, weird shout when he's got a Claw Jugs and a Claw Mighty to blitz with. Yeah. So, I interesting like that he decided to pull back here. Yeah, I feel like that pile on takes a player away. I mean, maybe he's worried about protecting him, but takes a player away that basically offsets the positional advantage he had by Elliot's decision to play it safe there. Yeah, I would have much rather kept him standing, blitzed yep. this guy in front of him with the claw mighty. As it is, he's letting he's letting uh, Elliot get back in the middle here easily because yeah. he's put one guy down. He's given the other. He's let the other guy gets blitzed, and that's exactly what yeah. Elliot's done instantly. Absolutely not my favorite. I mean, you know, if if when this was all set up two turns ago, you told me it was only going to take Elliot two turns to get into a cage position just behind the LOS. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'd count that as a win for Elliot. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, like, look, I'm not again. I'm not slacking off, Mike the machine. It is no, one minute turns, not, yeah. and it might have been the right place as well. <laughs> Just not what I would have done. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Necro. I think I would have too. I don't know that that would have been any better of a call or right of a call, but uh, yeah. yeah, at this stage, I I kind of like making the dwarves have to uh because if they're hitting you and you're spread out then they're not going to protect the ball from gutters soon mm -hmm. and if they're dodging or you know doing whatever then they're risking you know burning their rerolls yeah but is this is this the uh is this the uh, thing there you go look see so <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, certainly, so i'm certainly, certainly i'm certainly not saying that what i would <laughs> that what i would do would be better than him um <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's just <laughs> he's played nearly literally 10 times as many games with Skaven as me <laughs> um, but it's just not what I would have done and that's okay isn't it like it's not it's not a euphemism for shit <laughs> no no certainly not I, I don't think you need to defend that one to this crowd Jim no, no one here is sitting there thinking I just that. like maybe it you, I just like saying it because of that stupid fucking rebel bollocks and certain other streamers how they just use euphemisms all this time which detracts from the actual reality real application well, when, of it isn't it when, when you create an environment in which you cannot be critical of the play as a commentator what are you really doing for your audience, <laughs> you yeah. know? So you can be critical and be wrong. You can be critical and be right. And, and you know, we've how many times has Shawnee said, it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what the play was if it works, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's true. Like, that's that's how Blood Bowl works. You could have, you could choose to do a 40% play over a 60% play. If the 40% play works, it was a fine call. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not going to work out for you the other 60% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Coffee Monster's the best. <laughs> oh boy, this is tricky. I mean, t see, so that's the thing, right? By by <laughs> playing more conservatively, Mike the Machine has got everybody in front, and now yeah. you know it's Elliot's got to try and march down the field in about four turns and and yeah. try to make headway. So it is tough. So it's it was more yeah. conservative. He is down re rolls for the the coin toss, so. He, that, that, that for me would make me want to be more aggressive and try to turn it over but it is hard against dwarfs isn't it with Skaven yeah. absolutely sure. yeah it's basically erasing a, sh a real shot for the Skaven to win it in overtime right now but like it is dwarves that he's doing this to you know if this was dark elves it would be a completely different thing it's like of course like the dark elves can all drop back and they can get back up and recover their position in a turn you know in a turn like, yeah. it's not going to matter and they're not even that fast <laughs> but it is dwarves, you know. They they don't have a lot of options for escaping. 
Yeah, yeah, this is going to take quite a lot to break through, protect the ball, and score. Yeah. That being said, uh, you know, of the two guys on the field right now, Elliot has a Elliot favors kicks a lot more than Mike does. Yeah, yeah, he's, I think he's like a two to one favorite, isn't he? Bezel always says, I think the one one reroll advantage makes you about a two to one favorite. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Moradam is not like I'm saying that's the only thing that matters or anything. I was just proving how much he's played, uh, how much he's played, and which is pretty good, pretty much, and really good record. But that's it. I mean, the one minute, you know, he might be playing below his usual level because of the, the, uh, the. Uh, one minute turns, but I don't know because I don't know what the right players are. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and yeah, that's the other thing we have not, we have not in any way, shape, or form addressed the uh, elephant in the room that one minute turns drastically changes the game for you. Yeah. And honestly, like going back to what Elia did, committing to committing all those dwarves to protecting the ball, you know that is a pretty believable decision to make. Uh, when you have a minute to worry about it, it's like, okay, well, if something's going to fuck up, I'd rather have all my dwarves near the ball to <laughs> yeah. protect it than if I make the wrong call and the ball is exposed to uh, to a wrestler that I miscounted because I didn't think he could possibly reach me from across the field. <laughs> yeah. Plus as well, I mean, to be fair as well with Elliot there, it's reducing the worst case scenario and he doesn't have to score on his drive, right? He just has to not lose now and then he's got he's going into... He's yep. going into the uh, kicks with a with a, as a two to one overdog, so it's certainly fair in that regard as well. Oh, lovely removal there, jambon de terre. Oh, see that surprised me. I'd have just put him there and then kept the ball where it was, probably. It makes you a two to one favourite, Necropotence. And you know, knowing that you can fail the pick up and knowing that Skaven could run through and break through and completely fuck you up, it you know, it, that, like that's what I'm saying, it's not it's not like what Elliot did was terrible, right? It was just it was just uh That's what it was, it was conservative making the uh worst case scenario not as bad but ensuring something bad happened <laughs> this just in from around the blitz pit uh, we have results from the losers bracket Diamedris's necromantics eliminating random guy his orcs we saw them earlier today uh, two to one victory sends him into the round three losers bracket and then here's some sad news for you Diom Lord the Norse cunts <laughs> taking out Gedanix Wood Elves two to nothing. DM Lord advances. Gedanix, the admin of Blitz Pit, is out in his debut run. A rough, a rough go for that tournament. Did get himself one win though. Um, no, he didn't. He lost. Uh, yes, yeah, he, he did. did get one win. He beat Rick. He did exit mm -hmm. Rick. And now we're just waiting on the results of Purple Chest Shawnee to see who will face Elliot or Mike the Machine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And that's a good point as well, Scroll Dude. Yeah, he's got to be playing in a way that means he can eat double skulls, right? He wants to. Ma he, he's got to realize now that he's probably not going to score. Uh, three turns left, right? He's probably got to give up on scoring, and make sure that the that the Skaven don't count as score. So he probably got. He should be trying to play in such a way as. Every dice roll could be a dub skulls, and he's got to be able to eat them. Yep, Gotta absolutely. Be. Yeah, we have not seen any sort of uh, relevance from uh, Mike the Machine's uh, decision to make this uh, pretty kill-heavy uh, Skaven team. They have just not done the work in the two matches of his that we've seen. Mm -hmm. I would be hard-pressed to believe this won't be a shootout at this point. Yeah. 
Yeah, because Elliot surely won't won't no, make a crazy risk. risk. Yeah, he's not going to potato it on the off chance. He's gonna he's gonna play as safe as he can and might might have a go on turn twenty four. But he's not going to commit a reroll to it unless it's like a a two plus to score or something. <laughs> Now, that being said, Elliot might not be privy to the idea that it's a two-to-one odds. Those are some weird odds to kind of sort out uh, the way that it works. He might he might think it's a little bit more even and feel a little bit more pressure than maybe he needs to. We don't really know. Yeah, but Because uh, it does look he's, he's going to try and push up the sideline, it seems. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe not, though. He can't really bring any dwarves up to protect the ball. Well, yeah, I, guess I'm, wrong. I guess I'm wrong, Jim. Yeah, you can get the halfway line there. Pretty safe. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to try and skip past that runner there. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. He might dodge the runner out. Nah, he can't. He'll block. Yeah, he can't do that because then he's giving up a wrestle hit on the ball. Yeah. No, if he, if he could have got well, someone else from... Well, yeah. Because I just didn't want to be Kelsey. <laughs> Same as the dome in it. They both, both, both ones were recruiting. Like, uh, I think no, I think I was in this. I think I was in the, yeah, I was in this, and then I dropped out when I quit all the leagues that I was in. And uh, so I was, I was going to be in this, and then I was going to, um, I wasn't invited to Dawn because it was when I was, when I was uh, hating Blood Bowl. But yeah, I, I literally was in this, and then, uh, and then I pulled out because of when I quit all the leagues. Dome does not seem like a format that would. Uh, benefit your uh, mental health. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why Dio didn't invite me, and I was like, "Fair enough, yeah. thanks." <laughs> yeah. It seems like I, I think you do. You could probably like, you could probably play well in that format. But good lord, going down two games to none, and, and then having to just sit there and play more, yeah. you would not be happy for the next. This is what best of five. Best of yeah, it's best of five. <laughs> Thanks, J5. Day. It's two isn't normally what I play in Blitz Pit. Actually, what I, normally what I do is fucking have the three games in, in a row, and that's that's the thing. It's like yeah. it's it's all right if you lose the first two or win the first two, but I pretty much always get a loss on day one, and then it's like got to play day two half the time, and it's just horrible. Yeah, best of five, I think. Dome is yeah. Yeah. The thing, I, I, I enjoyed what I saw of them. I didn't really know all the rules to it. I kind of picked it up randomly. But uh, I enjoyed it because it always, the, the, the games always started before I was awake. So I'd come in for like game four and it was like perfect because you'd already kind of know what was going on. But then like it was less exciting if it was like, you know, oh, he's up, he's up two games to none right now. <laughs> it's like, well, if he wins this one, it's over. But uh, generally speaking, missing the first half of Dome was good as a viewer. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see that. But, uh, yeah. What I didn't like though is, and I again I don't know. I'm sure they figured out the numbers better than I ever could, but it sure seemed to me like 80 percent of the games just ended in kicks, the way the format works. Yeah. And it's just like, why seem to highlight one of the worst ways to resolve a game of Blood Bowl? <laughs> yep. Okay, he's going for it, isn't he? Look at this push. He is fucking going for it. That double skulls has really exposed yeah. the center. Yeah, this is uh, this could be all over. But the crying. Can you get someone up on that far left corner there? Uh, with G, if I any dice. Yeah, without dice. This guy, this guy can do. Took a couple of GFIs at the at the end, can't he? You can't get all the way up there, though. No, but he he can't really get around to hit him, can he? Um, yeah, I guess not. Oh, he can now. He didn't get the knockdown there. But so now it's looking like he might have to get these GFIs. Oh, yeah, he, well, he does. Both. Oh, the wrestler's stunned. I was like, where's that wrestler right now? He's oh, stunned. He makes them both. He, he makes does. them both. Oh, and he makes the dodge out. Life is good for the dwarves. Oh, now it's looking horrible for Mike the Machine. Yeah, yeah. Now we're coming down to uh, the bitter, bitter end here. <laughs> he can he can technically get a one D. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy, but it's pretty much all he's got. Yeah, it's pretty much all he's got. Yeah, that's what he's doing. 
Or three mm. plus five plus, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, nothing else to do. Doesn't make the first one, has to re-roll it. Yep. Makes it, and... Oh, he's not blitzing him. What? 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 I don't think... What? No. I don't think this is going to be enough, Jim. I do not like that. I mean, maybe he's looking at it as the dwarves do have to make a GFI to score this turn, so he's buying himself one more turn before the, the mega... The mega dive, but uh, he's not moving any of these players back to support them. I don't like. He he's has... got to get the Canoring threat then, right? He's got to make his Canoring threat. That's the only upside. Is yep. that? And he's brought him back. No, Shawnee. No. Oh. Oh dear. This is not going to be that hard for uh, for Elliot to get to deal with. I don't think. No, I feel like this was not anywhere near enough. Doesn't he's not setting anyone up for uh, for Canorian threat here? No, I think he probably should have gone for the five plus. I know it's low odds and everything, yeah. and it's not good. Yeah. But... I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say. I mean, well, to be fair, he's made every other fucking roll, so it doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He can bring Blart right in and around there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the fact that he made all the dodges afterwards made it makes it look good. But it was yep. it had really potential to go badly. No, to There's just too many free dwarves here to help out. I feel like maybe not in a minute though. You know, you got to sort this stuff out in a minute. That could be a little bit tricky. Yep. It's got a chain, hasn't he? A potential chain. Yeah, that's stuff. what I was looking at too. <sighs> he did lose a reel for kicks, and he hasn't got a scoring threat, so. Elliot is not under pressure to try to score. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. So now Elliot's got a yeah. plus two to kick. So that like that's the horrible thing for him not yeah. going for it. He I has mean, no threat to, of his own to up, win. Yeah, up two roll re rolls to none right now. Yeah. Yeah, he follows and he can move a lateral, just dodge lateral, and if he makes it, he makes it. Doesn't need to uh, have a re roll. Yeah, exactly, Elliot can just end turn. But, I mean, he can try to score and not re-roll it, can't he? But, yeah, Elliot's looking massive favourite just by ending yeah. turns, which makes it yep. seem crazy. Makes the dodge. Fails the GFI. Oh, my God. Don't it. spoil the re-roll. Don't spoil the re-roll, Skuro. Gorilla. Oh, oh he makes it. Sorry, wow, I'm way ahead of you again. Oh, man, that's so weird. <laughs> Does make it, and that's going to be GG. Elliot, I mean, you gotta. I, I, I don't think I could resist re-rolling a, a GFI right at the end there either. Yeah. Oh yeah, he had to re-roll the GFI. I don't think he should have re-rolled yeah. the dodge. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree there, but like, scary, scary little bit of drama at the end, but the dwarves hang on, win it two to one, <clears throat> and that will exit Mike the Machine's rats from Blitz Pit. And that's going to do it for day one of Blitz Pit as well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, thank you very much, Gorilla. Absolutely. Thanks for having me as always. I'll see you tomorrow, Jim. we got more games coming. Yes, it's fantastic, isn't the Blitz Pit? Thanks, good day, Nick, for uh, running it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.